Hey there, my hands up, I'm Pretty Little Cobras, and welcome back to the Cobras Nest. For those of you who are new, my name is Mignon Cobra, and I make minimalist videos. Today's video is going to be how Animal Crossing made me a better minimalist. So without further ado, let's just get into the video. Let's get it, let's go. Woo! So I'm going to tell you a little, little story. I've been recently playing Animal Crossing. Have any of you played Animal Crossing? Um, it's If you haven't, it's a Nintendo game. It's really cute. It's fun. I love it. I'm obsessed with this game. You uh, just essentially, you raise animals and you collect furniture. And once you have a certain amount of furniture that the animals request, the animals become more or less your pet. So it's just like a collection of pets and animals and raising a zoo and collecting furniture to just stuff in your campsite and stuff in your cabin and stuff in your car. Because this pandemic, we all have a lot more time. And I had a lot of time and I took a break from YouTube. So I've just been obsessively playing this game for hours on end and I had gained a lot of money I think I had like maybe like a hundred thousand two hundred thousand dollars in the game And since the whole point of the game is just to purchase stuff That's just all that I did. I collected animals and I purchased stuff I learned something very interesting because I've been very frugal because I have student loans I never really bought stuff hence why my minimalism was kind of self-imposed or had a need rather than, than desire so anyway, coming back to the game, I would buy stuff in the game, right? I would buy like, uh, I bought purses, I bought clothes, I bought furniture. And every time I bought something, I felt really elated. But within the hour, I didn't, it was, it was gone. I was, I baselined and I was like, I need to buy more <laughs> to reoccur that high. So I would buy and I'd baseline, I'd buy and I'd baseline. In my minimalism journey, I never got to experience such frequent shopping to kind of see the spikes in it, to see a pattern. Yeah, of course, you know, buying something and then like the happiness is going to wear off, blah, blah, blah. But I never really thought about it too deeply till I played this game. I actually learned this from Animal Crossing, but it turned out to be one of the best life lessons I have ever learned. Your happiness level is unfortunate genetic. You baseline at a certain level of happiness and you have blips of happiness and you have blips of sadness, but then you kind of more or less even back out to your natural genetic set point of happiness. So what can we do with this knowledge? Essentially what it means is if you buy more stuff, yeah, you'll be happy for a little bit, but then you'll baseline again. So you, we can kind of help use this tool to curate our need for stuff. Like on a practical level, what does it mean? So maybe you go to the store and you're like, you know what? I'm definitely gonna be so much happier once I purchase this and once I purchase that. And it's true, you will be happy for a little bit, but then you will baseline again. So you can help kind of think, uh, is this thing, do I really need this? Like you start to ask yourself more questions about why you purchase the things that you do and it no longer comes from a place of, you know, I'm gonna be happier when I buy this, I'm gonna be happier when I consume this. You become a little bit more critical uh, using pursuit of happiness as the reason as to why you're purchasing things no longer becomes the real reason why you purchase things at least for myself it no longer is i already understand that i'm just gonna be happy for a little bit and i'm gonna blip and then i'm gonna go back to baseline i don't mean to vilify vin villainify material possessions and material consumption to be human is to consume it's just good to be mindful I don't have such an incestuous need for material stuff as I used to. Like, don't get me wrong, I still like material stuff, just like everybody else. I'm not here on thy holier horse and, you know, I believe that I'm better than others and I don't want material stuff. That is not true. Uh, I love myself a good lipstick, but I no longer feel the need to have to collect every single color. I I'm aware that when I really crave something, you know, I understand that it's only going to bring me momentary happiness. And then with these, like, tools, I can make better decisions. Do I purchase this? Do I not purchase this? Do I hold off on this? Is this one a good purchase? Is that not? that one a good purchase in this game i was essentially like a rich person any furniture i wanted i bought anything that i wanted i just indulged myself in this game and i was like wow i experienced the upper class high and it was very unfulfilling and i know you're gonna say well it was just a game it doesn't reflect real life yes and no rich dad poor dad had created a board game to illustrate the benefits of buying stock and buying assets over liabilities and he would use this to train teenagers to realize the value of money so um that's just a game but did that mean that they didn't learn a lesson uh no they did learn a lesson so the same thing with me with animal crossing um on youtube there's a there's two different types of minimalists in my opinion there's minimalists out of like need i call the frugal minimalists and then there's minimalists because of abundance and it's just they're fed up with all of the shit that they have and it's just crushing them in all of the abundance and I fit into the first category it was out of necessity that I became a minimalist but through Animal Crossing I got to experience the abundance and realizing that that abundance does not bring you any any lasting happiness and it was from that then I realized that I felt super excited to embrace a more truly minimalistic life all on my own not because I had to, but because I wanted to and because I, I realized and, and experiencing it for myself that material possessions do not bring you any more happiness. Oh my gosh, this video's gotten so ranty and long-winded. So in essence, what I'm trying to say is, I know it's, it, 
it doesn't really mean much to hear somebody else tell you the material possession is not going to bring you happiness and maybe that's just something that you didn't experience for yourself you're just gonna have to waste a lot of money to learn that lesson yourself or just pick up animal crossing and learn it there so you don't spend real money thank you for having taken the time to watch this video if you haven't done so yet hit the subscribe button hit the like button check out my instagram at mignon cobra and i will see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye